Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk about some of my favorite space stories. So today's video was inspired by the release of Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is actually out today, so be sure to check it out. This video is a paid promotion with Disney Hyperion. And like I said, this whole video is inspired by the release of Unearthed. In this book we follow two main protagonists who journey to another planet called Gaia. Basically, Earth has intercepted a message from this alien race that has been extinct for a long time called the Undying, and it's literally perfect time because the earth is running out of resources. We're not sure what we're going to do anymore because we don't think we're going to last much longer. So we inter they intercept a message from Gaia that the Undying has some technology up on Gaia where their planet is from that they could really benefit from and that they can use to help earth out. So like I said, we also follow two main characters. So we have two main characters that are going there for completely different reasons. So we have Mia, who is going to Gaia to be a scavenger. She's basically going to steal a whole bunch of tech to give it to someone to help her family out a lot. And then we have another main character named Jules, who is going up to Gaia to really learn about the Undying because he has found a secret message within the coded message that Earth has received. And he learns that there's something else going on with the Undying and he wants to learn more about them. So you said, Jules and Mia are both there for very, very different things but somehow they meet and they team up together and they discover a lot more than they thought they'd ever would and this book is literally the best way to describe it is Indiana Jones in space <laughs> throughout the whole time reading this book I was like this is like an Indiana Jones <laughs> movie. In this book we have this temple that Jules and Mia go to. They have to do certain things to um, avoid pitfalls. They have to like really race against the clock, you know, answer riddles, and they had to do these certain tasks, and it was just very fun. It was so interesting also to read about an extinct alien race that has made a coded message to Earth. I enjoyed this book. It was fun, and it was a quick read, and it's a perfect sci-fi book, I think, if you want to test the waters out to get into sci-fi with. Ending definitely left on a cliffhanger that made me want more, because I was like, we're gonna end it right here. What? Why? Why? We're actually trying to figure out things and it ends. See, if you're a fan of sci-fi to check this book out, if you're a fan of adventure, and honestly Indiana Jones, to definitely check this book out. Like, it's in stores today, January 9th, so be sure to get yourself a copy. Since this book is told in space, I thought I would recommend to you some of my other favorite books that are also told in space, my space recommendations for you guys. The first one I want to talk about is actually an adult novel, and that is The Martian by Andy Weir. I read this book a couple years ago and it still stuck with me. I'm sure you've probably heard about the the movie with Matt Damon in it because it is the app because it is the adaptation to the of this book and I actually have to say the adaptation is just as good like it's a good adaptation in this book we follow a astronaut Mark Watney who was on a crew who is on a crew and they're both and they're all going to Mars for the certain mission and they are on Mars and they suddenly have to evacuate and Matt Damon gets left behind because everyone thinks he's dead, only he's not dead. So basically this book is him straight on Mars and trying to figure out how to survive until another shuttle can come pick him up. This book is hilarious. It's one of the few adult sci-fi books that I've read and I loved it. The main appeal to this whole book is yes, space, straight on Mars, all of that is appealing. Well, I mean, not in real life, but it's appealing as a book, right? <laughs> but the character of Mark Watney, he was so funny, he was so sarcastic and witty, he really made this novel. So I would highly recommend checking this one out if you're looking for a great, like, stranded in space story which I hope never happens to me like that would be horrible. The next two books I want to recommend are Illuminae and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff surprisingly again by the same author who wrote on Earth she also wrote another sci-fi novel and I think she wrote another sci-fi series Amy Kaufman knows her sci-fi. Um, this is a great, awesome sci-fi um, series, and it's told in mixed media, so everything is told in like um, emails, dossiers, texts, things like that. You never get a full page of straight-up dialogue. I really enjoy it. This is like an epic space war. We have these two spaceships that are trying to like battle one another, or one's trying to escape another one, and it's really interesting. That's all I'm gonna tell you about it because this one is just really a roller coaster of a ride. There's so many ups and downs. You think that something's gonna happen and it does. You're like, we're never gonna get out of this, and somehow we do. Sometimes we don't. It's such a fun series. I highly recommend it if you want something a little bit different, but within the same within the same sci-fi genre because they're all told in space and they're just fun reads. I think a lot of sci-fi's are fun reads. The next sci-fi book I want to recommend to you is Invictus by Ryan Grodin. This is a new release that came out in September, and I loved it. Another fun sci-fi novel. In this book, we follow Faraway, who is actually 
learning to be like a time traveler because it's very very prevalent in this world that he's living in that time travel has existed so in this book he fails his time travel exam which is horrible but somehow he gets his own crew and he ends up boarding the Invictus and basically they go throughout time to plunder things from history like steal things and this is all total space pretty much as well it's this is an awesome sci-fi space book and it also has a great element of time travel as well this is another thrilling type of book that I highly recommend this one if you're looking for an awesome space book as well well, then I want to talk about the Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis. I'm holding up the first book, Across the Universe, obviously. This is probably the first YA sci-fi book that I've read, and I really enjoy it. This one definitely has mixed reviews. Either you love it or you don't. I think maybe if I read it now, I probably won't love it as much. But it's either way, it's a very interesting novel. And this main in this book, we follow a main character, Amy, who Amy gets frozen in this like pod of like time with her parents and they are being frozen to be awakened like 500 years later till they reach their destination of another planet so they're frozen on a ship and then one day Amy wakes up to realize that she's been woken up like 200 years before she should have woken up so basically she's on the ship she doesn't know anybody she learns that there's a whole different structure of the ship she doesn't know how this whole world works and basically she's awakened 200 years before she was supposed to so she's just hanging out on a ship of course many different things happen throughout the course of this trilogy but I really enjoyed it. I thought the whole concept was very interesting. In fact when I saw the movie trailer for Passengers which I still have not seen the movie I was like that is this book so I don't know. Either way I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend you check it out for a good space story. This series or I guess I could say particular books that are set in space within this series I don't know if that's cheating or not is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer so bear with me here. So this these are the last two books in The Lunar Chronicles Cress and Winter and the Lunar Chronicles is another YA sci-fi series, but it's not necessarily told all in space. There is a big, bigger picture within this series of there's this other planet, the moon. <laughs> So basically in this series we have a bigger picture of the moon um, which takes place sometimes within the series so I'm holding up these two books because we visit the moon quite a lot in these last two books in particular winter. So it is a sci-fi book that is told a lot in, on earth but it's also told a lot in another planet so I'm counting it as space but either way I would highly recommend this series overall. I will say Crest is probably my favorite in the whole series and that one takes place a lot in space or at least it starts off in space. Can't tell you much more because it would be spoiling for you but I just want to talk about these because they do take place in space technically a little bit so I think that counts. So there you have it. Those are my space books recommendations for you guys. I am always on the lookout for another good sci-fi novel. I feel like I really have come to love the genre and I really want to read more from it so if you have any recommendations for sci-fi space books that take place in space please leave them down in the comments below I would love to hear your thoughts and like I said be sure to check out Unearth by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner out in stores today and again thank you so much to Disney Hyperion for sponsoring this video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye